Hello, my fellow vampires! This is Maluncha, and welcome back to V Rising. I am a vampire in an empty castle. So yeah, I've been doing a, a lot of work. I think I ran back and forth between my other castles. So in the previous episode, we decided that... Well, to not hold myself back towards the future and actually in the progress that I'm doing right now, changing bases uh, or relocating bases towards the top side of the map was going to be for my best interest. And then also the bone farm for the dark silver ingots was kind of an issue for me, but I noticed that if I just set up like two castles with 12, uh, 12 tombs, like it already is paying off. Like I can already say right now, like I've never had so many bones in my inventory, in my in my box, and so many, so many. Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, bone dust? Is it bone dust? Yeah, uh, grave dust, grave dust, bone dust. Doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, for this episode, we of course are gonna break down this uh, this castle here and relocate it. But I'm still with two questions. So. A couple episodes ago, we found, well, Steven, for now I, I call him Steven, we found a servant, 100% uh, one, and he turned out to be 24%. So a really good one, the max you can get is 26, so this is actually a really, really good servant, 24% uh, one. But there is no option to actually, we can summon him, and we can terminate him. But we cannot actually, like, convert him back where we could charm him again and then move him and we already noticed in the previous episode uh, with our um, anvil we cannot relocate items from this castle to another castle so sadly enough we are gonna need to well we're gonna need to trash Steven uh, so if I terminate him some of it and his all his equipment will be destroyed yes Oh, this hurts, this hurts, but yeah, it, it has to be done, guys. Yeah, the next question I kind of have is with my prisoners. So if we check out the prison cell, we can actually charm this one. Dominating presence must be active. Okay, so let's dominate prison cell. So we can charm him. Oh, and then he will follow me. Okay, so for the 100% fee bloods, uh, the 100% bloods that we want to use as our blood banks... We can actually get them towards our other castle, but it does mean that we're going to need to walk them there. Or at least we'll drive them there on our horse, which is a little bit faster. How are, we, how are you on foot? He's actually not too bad of a speed. Can he keep up when I... Probably can't keep up with this, right? He is pretty fast. Okay, this might actually be easier than I thought. We do need to be careful, like, with bridges, because he can get stuck behind a river, but other than that, like, holy crap, he's keeping up. This is, this is wonderful. Okay, so it's not as hard as I imagined it would be. Come on, little fella, run, run. Ah, look at his little legs go. Prison, there we go, he's safe at home, not for the other tree. Nice, so we've got them uh, home for now. Uh, I'm not gonna set up prison cells in this place. Probably set up the prison cells in the other location, in my other base, in my second uh, base, in my... Basically my mansion, uh, workshop and the mansion, I guess I'll call them that. Instead of uh, castle 1 and castle 2, so in the mansion I'll probably make uh, like, like a proper prison cell. Uh, but you do have to be careful. If they run through fire, they do take damage. Um, I think I think he took damage from running through fire. So uh, definitely have to be careful about that. But yeah, now we can go home uh, after everything is done here. Uh, well, everything is relocated here. And we can start taking down the castle. Except for the throne. And except for the other servants. Because the servants are still out and about. My guys are finally back from their hunt. Let's see how they actually did. So a little bit of silver, eight scorch stone. That's actually not bad. 30, 30 grave dust and a stack, a stack, a stack of bones. It's actually pretty good. And yeah, we do need to strip them of their gear because sadly enough, Barney, you are going to get destroyed, dudes. Now, where are the others? Louie? Louis, get over here. Let's uh, strip him of his gear as well. So seven scorch stones. That's actually 15 scorch stone and 
what is it, 60, 60 Grave Dust? That is actually a really good farm. It is uh, a run for 23 hours, though, but it's actually not too bad. That was actually not too bad. And they went, uh, both of them went to Church of the Damned. Terminate, yes. Terminate. Barney, I'm, 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 if, I, if I get a new servant, I'm definitely going to name him Barney again. Yep. And let's start trashing, guys. Let's start tra trashing. There we go. I wonder how full. Holy crap. How long does it take to trash? I wonder. It, seriously? Hold the button till you're done. I wonder how long it's going to take for me to trash this entire, entire place. Yeah. Time to get busy. It exactly it took me 10 minutes. I have no idea if I can carry all the silver on me. No, I'm probably dying. And at a pretty stable rate. And it still has stuff in this inventory. Can I actually take everything? There we go. Castle has been deleted. 10 minutes and... This is actually what was for re for resources for the amount, the size of all the walls that I had and pillars that I have. It's actually pretty okay. I was thinking that my inventory would be rather filled, but it's pretty okay. Yeah, empty empty spot now. Rush more. Let's rush back home, guys. So I probably mentioned this a couple times before. I kind of want to build like this uh, skeleton farm up here then with uh because we have not tested uh some parts of the mechanics we have yet like these slope uh slope styles we can actually build like staircases on them so i was really wondering if i uh, kind of check the middle of what this area is i think i'm in the middle right now kind of want to build my Castle heart here. I can always move it later on. But kind of want to start off uh, here and build, I think, around the same size that this is. Like six tombs on this side, six tombs on this side. And make like a kind of a graveyard where you 
kind of enter the staircases up and then head into the graveyard and maybe make a little bit of a garden around it and then head the staircases down. I know I'm going to lose a couple of tiles by that, but I'm not really worried But uh, the amount of tiles that I'm probably going to have later. And then move into like a little garden in front of where my main mansion is going to be. So I'm going to start clearing out everything here, guys. And then, uh, yeah, I do have some resources on me uh, to make a chest and to actually set up what I want to set up. And then I'll uh, bring it, guys, back once this area is cleared out and we can actually start, well, building a little bit. So I think I already made kind of a... Uh, a mistake I should have tried because I want to keep like a natural feel to this as well like not clear out everything but like keep a natural feel to it and I kind of broke down this wall over here so I kind of want to see if it can grow back first because if I can keep this like ruin like the the ruin building that I have here as a natural barrier because I cannot get through this and I do believe zombies or the skeletons or whatever I might actually like spawn here might not get to this either and then see if these natural gates if I can set up because uh, now uh, I'm kind of thinking if I can set up I, I don't think it's possible but like set up a pillar here and then maybe a gate in between the pillars that I could make a natural entrance into this and then like close this off on the side here and make a natural entrance into that. But we kind of need to uh, upgrade the castle heart first. So I'm going to need to go get copper ingots and leather and not burn because we also want to test out how far one castle because the castle heart right now is over here. And I kind of want to see, like, I think my line for my ca other castle is here. I kind of want to see how close I can build towards my other castle. The first test, can I actually... Yeah, no. It's blocked by environment. So I can place one here, but not here. It would be really cool if I could actually place one over here. And one over here. And then use the natural environment as a borderline. To actually close it off. Like... Kind of feel like you should be able to like that way I could do like pillars Maybe like on every corner and then do pillars like in here and in here Something like that make a pillar here and then a pillar here and remove this uh, This object in between kind of like I have here like this is not obstructed, right? It has like a little edge in the side here but yeah, nothing we can do about that for now. Let's upgrade the castle. I think I have everything. Let's upgrade one. I need a glass. I need a glass. I knew I was missing something. I was like, what was it again? Was it was it uh, planks or was it stone brick? It was glass. So let's see how far we come. We need to go to the other side anyway. So we have staircases. We have wooden staircases kind of look like this so a more natural feel to it actually don't look too ugly but we're going later on we're probably gonna line it up with metal fences i think so we have stone ones as well oh if there was a half a wall like the only thing we could place right now would be like this giant wall. But if there was like half a wall. The same. Uh, where was it? Castle. No floors. Fundaments. Like the same height that we get from the pillar. So this this height here. If we had a half a wall. That could extend from here. To the next one. Yeah we could, we could do iron gates between them. Kind of like this. And then, yeah, we cannot place this one yet. Because we need to have one border here. Okay. So that's basically how they work. Then we do... Uh, I'm already I'm already designing. We do a cobblestone path. Yeah, that actually... Uh, maybe... 
Can you do the other one? Does this look better? These tiles are closer towards... Like we get the... These are two pattern. And this is one pattern. So it kind of fits better. It kind of fits better with the... With the general path. Big two, three blocks. See, that's actually too big to... To match with the flooring of the tiles we have in the staircases. Please, oh please, let it leak up. That would be incredible. Too close to another castle. So it's two tiles, guys. Two tiles difference. Oh, that's actually... So it's a two tile difference. That kind of sucks. That kind of sucks. Two tiles. Come on. Oh, uh, if it's your own castle, I really hope they change this later on. If it's your two castles, you should be able to link them up. Okay, so with nine tiles left, we actually were able to build this. It's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. If I get a hundred more, I can basically extend this area over here. Maybe make a pathway to the roads. Maybe later on. And then actually set up like a garden here. But I do believe for a castle area. This is definitely big enough for what I want. So five in the morning and I cannot stop playing this game this is insane like i have to go to bed i, I love the little i it's also one of the things i kind of love about my why do i have one tile extra on the inside here that doesn't make sense what the crap where did you come from so yeah kind of an entrance could i Let's see no castle walls. Could I do this? Okay, so that kind of works. If I would extend that here as well. So yeah, that kind of works. That is actually not too bad. That's actually not too bad. If we place some banners here on the sides or something like that. Yeah, this might actually really happy about this entrance. And this would uh, be towards the zombie farm then. Yeah, this is actually pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, I placed uh, all the castles and I've basically been standing here for like 15 minutes. Not placing the last tile, the moon inside. Like, I don't know, I'm getting a big vibe of I want to build outdoor. And not like one giant room. More and more. Like I, I kind of built. A, a already two bases that are like completely inside. So production. Fundamentals. Castle. Floors. Here we go. Let's see what this gives. Yeah. It's it's entirely a different vibe all, all together. Okay. It is one big ass empty room right now. And like I said kind of want to have like if i would do like how many tiles we have one two three four five six seven eight nine so i could make three rooms basically like this bam bam something like this i could make another room here because i do need a couple more rooms in this castle no we want a door in here I do need a couple more rooms in this castle. Um, I basically need a room for my jewel crafting. I need a room where I can make my potions and my brews. Uh, I need a room where I can do research. Uh, and we basically only need to place one of the research benches. Because we already did all the rest of the research. So I only need to place the highest tier research bench. So that's uh, actually not too bad. Uh, I do need a room for uh, the servants I can make in this castle. So I think like a 3x2 room would be big enough for at least 9 caskets. 
my throne will become in the back here. But this is like a giant entrance into a in a in a in a in a castle, right? I could even do something like this. Kind of want to make it one smaller. That makes sense. Give it a window maybe here. And let's move this one. So if I would enter now, quickly see. So add a build menu. Yeah, I really love this this archway. I really love this archway. Like I'm not sure if I stand out. Not sure if I should do windows here. It would look better. See, the windows fill up too much. I, f I feel. I love the little spikes. Like, they... There's spikes on the railing. And the spikes continue in the wall. So, I, I kind of like that. But then you have, like, this border here. And that doesn't extend in the window itself. Is this now registering as castle? Don't think so. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. See, I think this looks better. I think this looks better. Yeah, this looks better. This looks more like the windows kind of look like a finished product, finished castle. This kind of gives more the ruiny feel, like open door ruiny feel. So if I come inside. Yeah, I might even like do one more. Because we got a three wide here. So if I would do uh, window door yeah i'm doing uh like it might be one ass long video again <laughs> it gives us the possibility of two more rooms here i kind of want to have the general feeling when i enter my castle that there is some filling like do i like it that it's like this do i like it that it's kind of set up here to this side and then here to this side problem is i do have my like two is too wide i think three was better three was better yeah definitely three was better let's do that and let's break down these thank you coming in again <laughs> like i'm gonna be running in my base a lot yeah that gives a gives a better perspective now i am thinking should i probably do the same on this side like give the perspective of like rooms falling back into my castle. Three by three is a big room though. That's a huge loss of area. Plus this one is three wide and this is only two wide. So that's kind of bugging me right now. That's not lined up perfectly. What I could do is... Hmm. Make this room also do like this. Then do like this. How does that look? 
Okay, then I have the line here. Yeah, that's that's okay. That's not making me twitch. <laughs> Basically, I have like a corner in here, and I have the workshops over there. So last run through. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. Now let's take a look at the side. So window, double door, window, double window, door, double window. So double window, door, double window, double door, window, double door. Okay, okay. Whew, 14 minutes of me like running in and running out. I think I've got it. And it gives me a lot of rooms. Uh, basically, one, two, uh, two, three, and then four, five, and six. Six rooms. Six rooms should be enough for the research that I have not done yet. So, one room prison, one room crypt. That's two rooms. Then another room for the library. That's three rooms. The paper press was library, so still three rooms. That's outside. That can be placed anywhere. Blood press is alchemy, so that's four rooms. Now we have crafting. That was jewel crafting is five rooms. Tailoring and alchemy table is five rooms. So we only need five rooms, actually. If I get this correctly. So we only need five rooms for this building. As far as I see it. And we have... We have six rooms. So I can... I basically have one room that I can make... I can make into a bedroom. So I can place my spawning here. With a couple chests where there are... Uh, basically gears. Gears and weapons. I can place in one room. Okay, so the rooms are divided up. The main castle is built. Uh, I think I'm gonna end this episode up here, guys. Um... I'm still not sure if I want to make this, like, open area. Because what I could do now is kind of wait for... Let's wait for nighttime. And then I'm going to remove one tile. And then we basically get, like, only the buildings in the outside here. And basically the rest will all be outside. And I kind of wonder how that will look. Okay, nighttime is upon us. And, yeah, we found a new... Uh, another acorn, so I have three right now, and I kind of want to see what this actually does. So we are going to remove the middle tile here. I think this is the middle. See, this is what you get for having, like, an outside base. And then in these rooms, it is basically still castle. So this would still work as workshop rooms. I kind of like this. kind of like this. So if we would do fundamentals and then exterior. Place a grass patch. And then can we do four? Like place this in the middle. Okay, let's see what happens. And then if I set up like a brassiere here in this corner and in this corner. Like, I could do that right now, right? Uh, let's, um... Castle production. Fundamentals. Yeah. So if I would place... One brassiere here. And one here. I think that would actually cover it. And I think if I would place... One here. One here. I think I would cover, like, the entire... The entire area so back and forth basically between between my base i'm gonna need to grab some bones and we're gonna need to wait on this uh this patch to grow up so uh yeah be right back okay the sun is, the sun is up okay so the sun is up the plant has not grown yet and i just realized that it took like an hour and a half let's uh toggle on these mist braziers let's see how far we get how big of an area can we cover? Can we cover the entire base? I think we can. Look, it's already over half. So Miss Brazier, it's gonna cost a lot of bones though. 
bones should not be an issue anymore. It should not. Might be possible that it still is. Yeah, look at it closing in. Look at it closing in. I think we can do this, guys. I think we can do this. Are we gonna get to the entire... Oh, our, our throne is gonna be... I think our throne is gonna be in the sun. Let's sit our ass down. Let's empty this up. Yeah, I, I kind of like this. I'm going to go with this, guys. And this is definitely where I'm going to close off this uh, episode. In the next one, we can see where... Well, no. We want to see what this tree will do. <laughs> we want to see it in this episode. So, okay, moment of truth. What do we get? Uh, well, actually, it's not too bad. It's like a big old tree. Yeah, that's actually not too bad. Like, I think if it's a birch tree, it would be, like, too small, I think. Like, the leaves of the birch trees hang, like, really, really low. But, because this is, like, a, a bigger tree, it's actually not too bad. It's actually not too bad. We're gonna, we're gonna have to, uh, gonna have to see, guys, but... Yeah, I'm kind of a fan. Now, the only question is if I would change everything up to the, like, small cobblestone blocks. Because it's a foundation. Expand your territory. Allows you to place objects and walls. Must originate from the castle heart. But I don't think it actually would work as uh, a floor. Foundation section for binning, building a castle interior. So... If we would actually build out every everything out of these, we might actually be able to place like a, a tree on top of that without actually having without creating an actual roof on this uh, castle. But we'll have to figure that out uh, when we actually start decorating this place, guys. But for now. I'm gonna end it up here. We built our castle. We built our uh, new... Well, yeah, built our, our mansion. We built the start of our uh, skeleton farm, which we still need to start up. But this episode is probably gonna be already way too long. So the mansion is gonna be, I guess, a two-episode two uh, two episode thing that I'm gonna have to do. Anyway, guys, if you want to see more of my... Well, let's play here in... V Rising or any other game I might play on my channel, just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.